good to be here for Tandem Psycho WA, raising funds and a bit of an awareness as well. So hoping to be able to do this bigger and better next year, maybe with the Town of Victoria Park um, Street Festival. So bringing this out onto the streets so everyone can have a look at it um, across the day and seeing who can generate the highest peak power. So yeah, good to be here. The weather's a bit dodgy but the crowd's pretty good. So. Hi, I'm Anthony and this is Erin. We're both from the committee of the West Australian Tan Cycling Advisory Council. And today we've uh, been privileged to join uh, Brad and through 868 Cafe to do a little promotional event for tandem cycling for vision um, impaired and blind cyclists. And uh, we have Erin here who has been riding with us for a couple of years now, um, who rides obviously on the back of the, the tandem and I'm one of the people who ride on the front of the bike. So Erin, what's it been like for you um, as a vision impaired person on, on the cycle? It's been a really great experience. I'm relatively new to cycling. I've probably been doing this for about two years now. And I think just through gradually building up distances and uh, different experiences, it's been great uh, for my fitness, great for getting out and seeing a whole lot of different areas of Perth that I probably wouldn't have otherwise seen. Um, cycling is a really social sport, I think. You meet a lot of people sort of on and off the bike, and it's just been a, a really great experience for me. And that's really our aim, is to make sure we get the same opportunity for people who are um, vision impaired and blind um, as any other rider. So we spend a lot of time getting out into community events and we're enormously uh, thankful for Brad and 868 giving us this opportunity to uh, show what we can do. So thank you. Thank you.